I think maybe my uh, one of my favorite mile workouts is the one we're about to do today, which is three sets of three by three hundred. Let's do this thing. And the reason I like it so much is that um, three hundred is short enough for me at altitude to uh, run race pace for what I would like to run at sea level. So four hundred just kind of stretches it a little bit too close. Yeah. So, you know, so anyway, so so I can do roughly fifty four to fifty five second. 300s and as my season has gone longer or gone on and I've gotten fitter I've I've uh, compressed the uh, the recovery between reps to around a minute 55 60 seconds so basically each set gives me the benefit of sort of the running economy at mile race pace at sea level and it also gives me the benefit of a good hard VO2 max kind of a session great and then in between sets it's just a hundred or a 400 meter walk around the track to start the next one so a decent rest in between yeah it's the good three rest sets. between the two sets yeah and if if i feel like it i might cut one off of the last one just because you know it's probably not going to make any difference in my fitness at this point mm. i'm going to try to do them really really even with uh with chris and todd they're both very capable of the same exact pacing so it, it actually works out pretty well yeah nice yeah yeah so anyway it's a, it's a really money workout and before i do it i tend to uh warm up a mile and a half I do some plyometric drills and then I do like four 50 meter strides just to make sure my my body's kind of just ready to go yeah so uh, what's the overview of your uh, your training patterns um, so I do uh, I train on a like an eight day week because I'm retired and I, I can and the, the things that are different about my training week is probably that I kind of build it around eight days because I run every other day so it's a more natural cadence for me um, so run days there's four every eight days and it's hard run easy run hard run easy run and then the other days are cross train cross train cross train cross train um, so that's the aerobic endurance part of what I do um, and when I'm training for races I train I train high intensity uh, like every fourth and every eighth day let's say so I'll do a workout like this this would be my high intensity day and then in four days from now, it might be lactate threshold, it might be 1K repetitions, it might be shorter hill, hill, hill sprints, something like that. But mm -hmm. it'll, be a, it'll be a day like that. Then the easy days are just easy running, but I also, also do a lot of plyometric drills in the middle of those workouts. I also do um, short hill sprints, like 8 second to 10 second hill sprints, like all out as fast as I can run, up a pretty good grade with just focusing on as fast as I can go with good form. How, how many do you do? Like six. And how much for it? Just walk down then? I just walk back to the start. You have, you have a full recovery? Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I am doing those for recruitment and it's it's got a little quality element, but it doesn't fatigue me from the run at all. I don't wow. come home and feel like I did anything super hard. Where did you get that workout from? Did you come up with that on your own? I saw it on Masters Milers on that website, a Facebook group um, that's kind of focused on mile athletes. And um, I read it, and the person who read it explained it, and it made a ton of sense to me. And so I kind of used that and replaced those 30-second hill sprints I was doing. And so I do these because I do them basically twice every eight days. Um, well, after the, after the hard day? I mean, after, at the end of the workout? Uh, no, th these happen on my easy days. Oh, those are your easy days? I do those on my easy days. So my easy day is easy, except I do some plyometric exercises and hill sprints. Gotcha. So hey, what, what hill do you do? You know, it just depends. Oh. I just build them into my run. Hopefully I run somewhere where there's a small hill. Um, lately I've been doing them on the Goose Creek, uh, Goose Creek bike path, and there's goes under a bridge, and then there's this little hill that goes right up to a park. And I've been doing them there because it's just the right place in a run. Oh. Um, Man. So anyway. That's impressive. I'm, I'm, I'm psyched. I'm, I'm like, I want to go. I'm ready to start yeah. training with you. And then, and then my, uh, my other days, the, the cross train days are usually all easy, except for in, a, in an eight day in season cycle, I'll do one high intensity cross train. So like um, two days ago after we did the 1K time trial out here, I did 35 minutes of lactate threshold on an elliptical training the next day. But then I took the next two days were easy. And a lot of uh, cycling too? Yeah, I do road bike, mountain bike, 
uh, deep water, pool running, elliptical training. Those are kind of my, my main staples of just how I get cross training benefit. And so the cross training is usually uh, easy aerobic. It's usually easy aerobic. But, but sometimes and, it's hard. Yeah, yeah. and in, in the winter time, like if I'm not really training for any races, it, I'll just 100% just do easy everything. I just don't do anything hard. Get the volume in. I just do volume because it keeps me fit and I'm not really training for racing. And I know by my, I know myself well enough, it just comes back pretty fast. But I've also learned that I'm going to try to keep some high intensity running going year round because that's where and I think I get the injuries because I take these protracted rests from high intensity running and then I think it's going to come back quickly and I pull a cat calf or I, or I pull a hamstring or you know just something goes amiss and then I'm out you know another four or five weeks so so I've, I'm going to try to keep a, a steady cycle of um, at least once a week some some quality but just just you know not nothing hard.